I've been meaning to make this video for a few days now, but I uh, haven't really had the chance. So here we go. Something that uh, everyone should have seen coming, uh, but yet we somehow didn't, is Donald Trump's new proposal, uh, the order to basically censor the internet. Um, and then that gets into Hollywood and supposedly trying to crack down on liberal Hollywood making films which they claim to have a bias, which doesn't make any sense because liberal Hollywood is allowed to have a bias, just like conservative Hollywood's allowed to have a bias. It's Hollywood. It's it's freedom of expression. You know, it's it's people creating things. To which they would argue, no, these aren't people creating art, this is a movie. To which my argument would be, is a movie created by people, so I don't, I don't know. That's the argument that I've heard from conservatives, is that it's not freedom of expression because it's a film. But it's a film which is made by individuals who collaborated to express something through film. So I don't really understand the logic there, but then again, they're conservatives, and I don't understand most of their logic. The main issue that I have, me personally, is the movie The Hunt, which was a film that had the basic premise of the most dangerous game. If you don't know what the most dangerous game is, uh, it was a book uh, which basically was about people who were hunters they were avid hunters they they had hunted every animal of the animal kingdom and they had gotten bored and so these hunters through the wealth they owned bought an island and they would get humans they they would kidnap humans and uh the most dangerous game was them hunting people because they got bored of hunting animals and so they decided, okay, well, you know what? People are cunning and they're adaptive and I think we're gonna hunt people. That's that's gonna be the most, that, that's what's gonna give us a thrill. Well, that's the most dangerous game is people being kidnapped by hunters who are bored of hunting animals. And so now they wanna hunt people and the people have to try to escape. That's the most dangerous game, the hunt, which is the film that was supposed to be released in the theaters soon, which I saw a trailer for when I went to go see Hobbs and Shaw earlier in August. Uh, it's now been canceled because of Donald Trump and his crazy cult. I just, this is so funny to me. I mean, it's not really funny. It actually pisses me off because I wanted to see this movie. The Most Dangerous Game is one of my favorite books, if not my favorite book of all time, which is saying something because I don't read. I don't like books. I don't read unless it's like online research, stuff like that, and biographies. I, I'm not really a reader, but I'm good at reading. Um, I have a high Lexile score, whatever the fuck that means. I learned about it in school. When I was in school, uh, I think fifth grade, I had the reading level of like a high schooler. And then when I was in high school, I could read like college level books. But I just, I, I didn't care. I don't know if I believe any of that because I just, I don't like to read. Doesn't matter. I'm getting off topic. The point is that was my favorite book and this movie had a similar premise and I was very excited to see this movie and I wanted to see this movie and I thought that it was going to be something different while also keeping to a known idea. So it was original enough to where it got me excited but also a similar enough premise that I could be familiar and have the enticement to go see it in the first place. Because it's like, oh, I know what that is, and I like what that is, so this should be good too. Well, I wanted to see The Hunt, and then I learned a few days ago that uh, it had been canceled. It, its release had been canceled because of backlash, because of cancel culture. Except this cancel culture wasn't from SJWs, it was from conservatives. Conservatives who claim to hate cancel culture and SJWs because, oh, anything that they don't like, they're going to make sure that it doesn't get out. If we don't like it, you shouldn't be able to do it. Those damn 
SJW liberal cucks, man. They ban everything. Someone screams anything and they just cry racism. Everything. We're not hypocrites at all. No, we're not. They are. You are. If you're a conservative watching this, you're a fucking hypocrite. If you are someone who supports Trump, a bug just flew by my face. If you are a conservative who supports Trump, not only are you a fake conservative, but you're an idiot. You're a hypocrite. You are. All right? And I know it's going to ruffle some feathers. And I expect to. I don't give a fuck. All right? You guys bitch and moan and complain about how the left just constantly complains to themselves about being victims. Your entire day is complaining about other people claiming to be victims. You, you, you claim to be victims of the liberal elites, of SJWs, of censorship from SJWs and of the left. It's very hypocritical. They get mad at shows being canceled and taken off the air because a bunch of liberals and SJWs got triggered. And then they basically were like, we don't like this show, okay? It's, it's homophobic, let's get it off. When, uh, I can't remember what the show is called, but Tim Allen from Home Improvement is on the show. Uh, and it's on Fox, or, it's, it's a very popular show, but I just don't watch it because I don't watch TV. But it has Tim Allen in it, and it got canceled, and then they brought it back recently. Um, but that was, that was canceled. I had a pant on my foot. Um, that show was canceled because SJWs didn't like it because it was more conservative-leaning, and they criticized uh, SJWs in it. And the right had a fit. Now, there's nothing wrong with having an issue with people who cancel things simply because they don't like it. If you are a conservative or you are a liberal, it doesn't matter. Cancel culture is, in fact, cancerous. It is bad. It is stupid. Oh, you don't like a movie? Oh, that's too bad. Don't watch it. Don't make the movie before. Don't, don't force the producers to can the film. Okay? Don't have TV shows get banned from the channel that they're being played on because you don't like the content. If you don't like the content, don't watch it. It's just like YouTube and how they ban certain creators for what they say or they demonetize people for their content that they put out on YouTube. If you don't want to see that content, don't click on the video. If you find a channel that you think is interesting, so you click on it, and then you find the content on it not to be that interesting, or you don't like the content on it, don't watch it. If you don't like my content, don't watch my content. If I don't like your content, I'm not going to watch your content. I don't see why this is such a revolutionary idea. I don't see why this is a, a, a radical belief. I don't get it. Even if it was a radical belief, so what? But it's not. It's just, it, it, it baffles me how much hypocrisy is ingrained in right-wing ideologues and in right-wing talking points. The, the Trumpist cult is obsessed with bitching and moaning and complaining about liberals, SJWs, the left, mostly because of what they perceive them to be guilty of, which is cancel culture, being triggered snowflakes, Yet here we are, Trump right-wingers, Trump-supporting right-wingers being snowflakes triggered at a movie where they believe the people who are being hunted by these elites in the movie The Hunt are referred to as deplorables. And for some reason, Republican voters, right-wingers, conservatives, for some reason assume that the deplorables in the movie are them, that somehow people like them, people who identify as conservative are the deplorables in the film. I don't know why they believe that that is the case. I don't know why they believe that the deplorables in The Hunt, because if you've seen the trailer for The Hunt, um, you notice that there's a bunch of rich, upper-class people who don't view that the people who they're hunting as human, they view them as deplorables, so it's okay to hunt them. Which is ironic, because Trump uses very similar dehumanizing language 
uh, towards people all the time. Immigrants to be uh, just one example. So I don't really understand why they believe that the deplorables are somehow supposed to be dim. But, but, even if the deplorables were to be depicted as more conservative leaning, I think they failed to realize that the deplorables in the movie are the protagonists. They're the good guys. They're the victims trying to get away from the elite who's trying to kill them. The point of the film is that the elites are trying to hunt the, 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 the deplorables and that the deplorables are the good people trying to get away from the, from the elites. So you're banning a movie which is apparently calling you a deplorable because it depicts you as a deplorable, even though in the film, which has nothing to do with you or your political beliefs, those so-called deplorables are the good guys and you're mad because you're being depicted as a good guy trying to get away from the bad guy. And if that is the case, if you are, if you, Mr. or Mrs. Conservative, are the deplorables, then who do you think the elite is? The liberal elites. So in this movie, The Hunt, based off of your own assumption and perception of this film, your own artistic perception of it, you are the deplorable, the liberals are the bad guys. Wouldn't that be a movie in favor of you? Why would you want that ban? It, it, I'm sorry, it just doesn't make any sense. It pisses me off because I wanted to see the movie, and now I can't because conservatives canceled it. So thank you, conservatives, for being a bunch of fucking hypocritic idiots. I appreciate it. I guess you saved me from spending like $10 on a movie. But aside from that, you just proved yourself to be massive different. And of course then, the, the canceling of this film goes further. Fuck you, man. I don't even know which car is doing it. And then you think it's a motorcycle and it's not a motorcycle, it's actually a car. You can never tell. I hate, I hate this town. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> wow. Um, right, right, I remember. People who want to see movies or want to put out their creative talent should be able to do that. Whether it's coming from the left or the right, doesn't matter. It's bad. It is, it is censorship. It's exactly what it is. And conservatives have always complained about censorship. And they claim that only the left is guilty of this. Now, of course, conservatives had been censoring art since the beginning of time, at least from American history standards. When you, Let's go back into the 70s. Who was trying to censor music? Conservatives. They didn't like punk rock and metal because they deemed it to be satanic. All right? Who started the comics codes uh, which, which regulated comic books and the content in those comic books years ago? Conservatives. And here they are again, claiming to bitch and whine about the SJWs canceling things and censoring people. Yet here you are, doing that very thing, censoring people, censoring movies, canceling shows. And the worst part of it is the President of the United States supports it 100%. Not academics, not college professors who think that they are a bunch of wannabe anarchists. Nope. The President of the United States, the most powerful man in the free world supported and championed this move. And that brings us into the censorship proposal which he has, uh, is attempting to initiate. I just, I don't know how to, you, you cannot convince Trump supporters any of this. They'll come up with some random excuse or a bunch of random excuses why it's okay if he does it or, oh no, this isn't actually what he's doing. Yes, it is what he's doing. You won't listen to reason. 
because you're a Trump supporter, which by definition means you're not reasonable. That's why you voted for Trump. There are plenty, now that's not true. There are plenty of people who voted for Trump simply because they didn't like Hillary. Let's be fair. But if you're still a Trump supporter after all this time, it's mostly because you're an idiot and you can't think for yourself. And anything which is anti-Trump is fake news, okay? Believe it, it's fake news. It's totally fake. Anything against me at all, anything, it's fake. Nothing's real. It's all about what I say is real. And if you don't believe me, well, then you're an enemy of the state. Enemy of the state. There's no other way. We got to censor it. We have to make sure that there are provisions to ensure freedom of the press, but also no bias. And if there is bias, well, then you don't have freedom anymore. But if you did that to us, then we would complain and whine, which we're doing right now, in fact. I'm going to stop the voice now. Point is, I'm angry. And uh, I felt like making this video because I wanted to share it. And I wanted to know what you guys thought. Of course, you probably already said what you thought on some other person's account, channel, or vlog, or whatever. But, my turn. And now it's been my turn. So, in short, Trump's a hypocrite. Trump supports the hypocrites. They want censorship even though they complain about SJWs doing nothing but censoring people. And uh, what they want to censor is the same exact thing that they have complained others for censoring, and it's for a dumb reason. You are trying to censor a film because you believe that you are the deplorable in the film. The problem is, though, the deplorables in the film are the good guys in the film, which means you are being depicted as the good guys in that film. Congratulations, conservatives. Congra congratulations, Trumpists. You are retarded. You do not have the right to cancel things, and you do not have the right to talk about censorship and how horrible the left is when you are just as bad and you do just the same amount of things. The difference is the left actually has redeemable qualities. You do not. 